So today I'm going to be making a traditional Italian dish which is spaghetti bolognese and this is something I have grown up uh, eating, breathing as a young child and unfortunately I was very disappointed when I found out that it was actually quite a high fat, high carbohydrate dish. So for me I'm all about modifying recipes so that they're much lower in calories. So the way that I'm going to do that today is instead of taking your regular beef mince or ground beef. I'm going to be using an extra lean product. Now in Australia we have a 96% uh, fat free beef mince or ground beef. Uh, USA I've only been able to come across something that's around 93% so I'm going to use that today. Um, however I will say um, if you have access to any gamey type meat, so uh, I believe here in the US um, Things like deer or ground, uh, venison are really popular. They are, are a little stronger in taste and they have a bit of a, a smell about them. And similarly said, uh, in Australia, we have access to wallaby and kangaroo. Um, don't be afraid to try cooking with this product. Uh, it is kind of frowned upon. I think a lot of people have a really bad idea about what it actually tastes like. If you've tried the fillets of the ground kangaroo mints, uh, sorry, of the ground kangaroo, uh, yes, it is really tough and quite chewy, but as a mince product, it actually works really well in this particular dish, as well as things like lasagna uh, as well. So if you have access to that, give it a try. It uh, reduces the fat content um, dramatically, and it still tastes amazing with all the flavors I'm gonna put in this recipe today. I'm just gonna run through exactly what's needed in the amounts, and you can follow along and try this at home. I've got mushrooms, we're gonna use some capsicum, we're going to use onion and some zucchini and squash. And this means we're going to have about 200 grams of vegetables per serving. Um, your spaghetti bolognese will use thyme, oregano, basil, uh, or a combination of all three. So if you've got any of those at home, definitely use those in this ingredients. And I'm also going to be using some iodized salt and some black cracked pepper for a little bit of flavor. So I'm just going to take a medium sized saucepan, fill it full, a uh, half full with some water and I'm going to bring that to the boil. Uh, so I'm taking uh, this gluten free pasta, you don't have to use gluten free, I have celiac so uh, I'm not going to test my, uh, my stomach lining with regular pasta, uh, but 200 grams dry and it'll work out to be 40 grams um, per serve. So since the vegetables are going to be going into the beef mince, um, you don't actually need to chop them up in any nice fashion. So I'm actually going to just take the ends off all the veggies and put them straight into a food processor and literally blend it. Uh, it makes it much faster. So I'm just taking um, one of the tools for the processor, which is the slice side, and that's just going to make this perfect. What I really love about this recipe is that it's super easy to make, it's really high volume so it will leave you feeling really satiated. So I'm going to season this to finish now that I've transferred the pasta into the rest of the beef mince. I'm using iodized salt, I'm going to use garlic powder and onion powder and the mixed herbs. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you like this, please share, like, subscribe, comment below if you like the recipe, if there's anything you think I can improve on, let me know also. I'm very open to your ideas and your feedback. Um, if you did like my recipe or you do follow me on my YouTube channel, I also have a brand new ebook that I've just released, so I'm going to give you the links to my website uh, so you can check that out also. Have a really great day. Um, see you next time.
Oh, you know what? Look, 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 look. And it tastes amazing. I feel like that's definitely not a peel. What I really love about this recipe is such high volume. As a result, you're going to feel really full, really satiated, and I'm an accredited practice on. It's such a long word. So low in calorie, lots of veggies, and something else. <laughs> I'm going upstairs. What I really love about <laughs> what I really love about this video. What I really love about this video. <laughs> what I really love about this recipe is super high volume. <laughs> don't try filming if you don't like filming. <laughs> I'm out.